Hi, everybody. <clears throat> okay. I have a video I'm going to show you. It's just stuff that I bought at Walmart. It's really nothing big, but I thought maybe just putting this as a video. I have a little guest here. Well, misters. Okay, let's get in with this bag. He's been digging it. No, no, you can't have it either. Okay, let's get in this bag. Okay, in this bag is like cleaning products, hair things, and stuff like that. But I went and purchased a poo poo scuba for my cat litter box. So I can start cleaning out the cat litter box. Because I lost my other one somehow. What the hell happened to it? But I lost it. Okay, I also bought Tresemme hairspray, which is the best hairspray. Um, I love it. It's good. <clears throat> this is the uh, tries to spray freeze hold mega firm control and it's the five dots it's like the max so this is what it looks like I get this because it's the best it holds everything um we also got a um thing of bleach because we have to clean our tub like around the tub is like um like grime and stuff like that so we're gonna clean it really good so that's right I also picked up some more conditioner and shampoo from Tresemme this is the smooth and silky um with Margolcan argan oil um touchable softness for dry or brittled hair, which mine's oily, but it still helps it. Um, shampoo. But this is, I got this in the 39 fluid ounce, the big one with the pump. I even got the same with the conditioner, same thing, so I don't really have to explain that. Okay, that's one bag. Uh, this bag, we wanted to get some snacks and stuff for us, and a few other things. So, this was two dollars. Me and my husband love Reese's. There's 12 in here. This was like two bucks. Um, we also got a bag of Doritos, a little biggie. Um, I got the cats, some party mix, uh, friskies. These are the beachside crunch with ocean fish and flavored of shrimp, carb, and tuna. This is in the 21 ounce or 2.1 ounce, like probably 2.1. Got that. And of course, my husband with his Oreos. He's got the milk flavored cookie, and this is family size, but I love the double stuff. He never gets a double stuff. But these are good enough. It's Oreos. I love Oreos. But he'll sit here and eat a whole freaking row. And he's got high cholesterol, but he got his blood checked. I don't know if I guys told you the whole story about that. <clears throat> but he had, we found out he had high cholesterol. We were finding out why he was getting these headaches. And stuff like that. And I was thinking brain tumor. You know, I'm going to explain this to my last child that my son has. Thinking brain tumor. So I told him, first things first, check your brain. No tumor. He's fine. He has done up there. But he's fine. But anyways. But, um. <clears throat> he, uh. So he tried to do in his diet. They offered him, um, cholesterol pills. And I knew I had a feeling deep down he would end up having to take them. He tried dieting chicken. He started eating a lot more chicken and stuff like that. Which he had chicken enough. But he started eating a lot more chicken. Like he wouldn't eat Popeyes. Like today we had Popeyes, him and I. Um, we had that. But, you know, he just... It, he wouldn't do it. He wanted to die at first. Which when he died... After he died, they had him take the blood. It was still bad. He said it increased. His high blood pressure increased. So, he's on the cholesterol pills well these cholesterol pills that he's on he wakes him up feeling drowsy so we don't feel drowsy and he's and he's and anybody that takes any type of to me it feels like anybody that takes any type of like sleeping pill like you know the tylenol pms advil pms like pain and you're trying to sleep or even prescribe um pills like that or sometimes some pain pills do that um like medication uh prescribed pres prescribed pain pills do that you know when you take it you wake up the next and you feel groggy the whole day because you took that pill the night before so you can sleep because you're in so much pain or whatever well that's what it's like for him he would take that pill it's just for his cholesterol it's not for pain but he wakes up the next day feeling groggy as hell and he can't go to work like that i mean he's groggy all fucking day it's just crazy 
So they she told him to take him off of there. They checked his blood and they said that his blood is improved. Not blood. Cholesterol has improved, but not by much, but it has improved. So she's got a few other questions that he needs to figure out and everything else. So, yeah. But I tried to tell him, stop on the stupid fucking Oreos. He, I'm sorry, I'm swearing. But he won't stop. He comes home, he eats a whole goddamn row. I'm like, really? Come on. I mean, one day I got so mad at him. I'm like, you're only having four. That's it. He's like, why? I go, because you have high cholesterol. And you're sitting here. The reason I'm, I'm sorry I'm whispering, but I'm, he's in there. I'm tell, hearing, having him hear me tell you guys this. But the only reason why I'm trying to sit here and tell him that, tell him this is because I don't want him, nothing to happen to him. Because he's afraid that he'll have a heart attack and die or a stroke. And I already have two kids I got to take care of. I can't take care of a third adult that has, they have diaper changes. And everything. I can't do that. I will do it, but I can't do it. You know what I mean? I will do it. I will do whatever I can for him. But, yeah. But it's not going to come down to that. Because, honestly, it's getting better. So. Anyways, this bag I got to rip. Just give me a second here. Um, so, anyways, I also... I got another story to tell you, too. Oh, so... Oh. <laughs> I was like, something spilled. Um, yes, these are wrong. And, yes, I shouldn't even put this out there. I know I was just complaining about it. But once in a while, every weekend, we have to have... I have to have this. So... Either he'll buy it or I buy it. Yes, it's wrong. I know I'm going to get a lot of people complaining to me about it. Don't complain to me because it's nothing I never heard. It's something It's something I've always heard. Okay? You can tell me anything. It's like I never heard of it. People have told me before. Um, it's not like I drink this shit every day. I also purchased the Call of Duty Black Ops. I didn't know. I just noticed that was on here. Monster. I know they're bad for you. But you know what? You only live once. Is how I put it. Got myself one. He got one too. This is for tomorrow. And what I do in the morning, you know, I, I always make sure I eat something first. Because my um, nephew that we ain't talking to right now, that's a different story. Um, He, uh, I got Jax. You guys see Jax right there? See him right there? You see his little head. Jax! Jax! My husband's been having him on camera. He won't even look at, at the camera. Jax! Jax! Jax, look. Hey, look at, come here. Hey, hey. You're on camera. Look at, you're on camera. There's that smile. <laughs> I got him to smile. Ha ha ha. Totally bad. He's been sitting here for like 10 minutes trying to get him to smile. But I got him to smile. Hopefully you guys saw it. But anyways, um, oh, what was I saying? Um, I forgot. Okay, I got like two stories here to tell you, but let me get into the other thing. I also got my hair color. I could not find my hair color. Finally, my husband moved a black, a girl with a black uh, cover in front. And he goes, oh, there she is. Found her. I was like, yes. So I got my hair color. I'm going to have my friend, my neighbor across the street. She's the one that dyes my hair. Excuse me. She's the one that dyes my hair. She's in dyes. I want to get my hair dyed once again before my birthday. So probably maybe that week. Um... Yeah, probably that week before I even go to court. That's a whole other story, my God. My Lord, that's a whole other story about court. I'll get into that just in a minute. All right. I also got some more baby food because we had to take Jack's off baby food, the jar food, for like a week. Because when I had jar food, I know it's a little disgusting, but everybody wants to know about Jack's. Um, I fed him, what I was doing was I was feeding him food. I was feeding him twice a day with jar food. And the doctor says that's right. So I was feeding him twice a day. What are you doing? He loves hanging around in here. Um, I was feeding him twice a day with jar food. But what I think I was doing wrong was as he'll eat, I will feed him one can like vegetable and one can of fruit. I was doing that to get him to be used to mix food. Well, two days out of that time that I was doing that, he had, at the same time, 5.30 in the afternoon. And every time I had him, we were outside. My neighbor Nikki had him holding him, or I was holding him. And he would just have diarrhea. And it was diarrhea where it just explodes off his diaper. So I emailed the doctor. I'm like, you know, what's going on here? She goes, bring him in on September 4th. We brought him in. She looked at him. She says, I don't see no swelling. I don't see no rashes. I didn't see the same thing either. I don't think it's a food allergy. I don't know what's going on. She says, it could be that maybe he is his body is still trying to get used to it. I even told her what I did. I told her I would feed him two different, <laughs> he's laughing. Two different things. And, um, you think it's 
Fanny. What do you think you had any left over your smiles? You didn't hand in them notes. You touch your fingers way too much. Well, <laughs> anyways, um, so she, I was telling her everything I did. So when I told her, she goes, okay, well, stop doing that. She goes, feed him once a day for a week. She said, so I started this, when was the fourth? Tuesday. Tuesday, I started. So I'm going I'm to, next Tuesday, if he had it, I'll, I'll get to it. So she said, do it for a week. So I came home, I will do, I alternate. One day be vegetable, and the next day be fruit. Like today he had applesauce, ate the whole jar. So um, he ate the whole entire jar. So that was good. You know, he ate the whole entire jar for everything. You know, I did with carrots. Um, even I tried even the next day with carrots. But I thought, well, let's alternate every other day. So I did one day carrots like that. So I did that. Goofy butt. I did that. And he's been doing fine. But he did have one diarrhea. It wasn't a blowout, but it was diarrhea. And I emailed her right away, messaged her right away, and she says, okay, if that's the only thing, it's fine. Just keep doing what you're doing. You know, and this time it was watery. Keep doing what you're doing, you know, and no fight. He hasn't had diarrhea since I have that first diarrhea. It's got to be, maybe his system's got to get used to the food. That's what my husband says. I'm like, okay. You know, all this stuff that I did with Joseph, I don't remember having these problems. With Jax, it's totally different. Like, this stuff that he's doing now, the clapping, the crawling around, I don't remember Joseph doing that. The only thing I do remember Joseph is coming, going from sitting to like in his walking chair and into his bouncer. Like we have, we have the same bouncer for Jax, but the walls and the things in here, they, ugh, my God, I'm going to tell you, it won't hold him to bounce. He'll fall. So we never get to use the bouncer. He would have loved it. So yeah, anyways, I'll tell you what I got. I got him. There's a couple different brands here. We have, what brand is this? Uh, Gerber and this is ham and I can't see the fluid ounce or what's in it. It's a small jar we'll go with. Gerber again chicken. We have to get him to like meat too not just fruits and vegetables. Parents choice mixed vegetables. Um, Gerber again beef. Um, beech nut classic banana. Then we have in these big Gerber tubs, vegetables and chicken. Oops, as it falls. This is a mixture, so we have to wait to do that last. I have other jars in my thing, too. And pumpkin. When I saw it, I was like, get the pumpkin, get two of them. <laughs> Hell, baby, I'm eating them. So, yeah, I got that. So, that's the story on him, okay? Next story I got. Okay, I went to the garage. We went, we were, where were we yes, last week? This was last weekend. Okay, last weekend, which is kind of sad, I only had two weeks of money. I got a little bit of money left over. This is probably the last thing I probably purchased because the rest of the money I want to save, and it's only fifty dollars. I want to have my card. I want to save for my birthday. I was supposed to save a hundred, but that didn't happen. All this cost fifty. But anyways, plus I bought cat litter and cat food. So, anyways, we went out. Um, we went to a garage sale. In this garage sale, this guy had like older stuff and everything else. You know, he had, like, he's just not playing with his jars. It's fine. All the stuff and everything else. Um, like, not, like, back in the day, like, you know, like, record players and everything else. Like, you know, old-time stuff he had there. Well, I was looking around, and I, on a table, they had a Keurig. I was like, oh, my God. I was looking, how much is it? 20 bucks. I'm like, oh, my God, $20 for this freaking Keurig. I'm like, I've been wanting one. Pricing those things are like, excuse me, pricing those things are like 80, I've seen them from 50 and up. That's the lowest, no, 60, 59.99 and up. That's how much they were going for. They were so expensive. So when I saw this one, I almost jumped out of nowhere. I even told my husband, I called him and says, dude, I'm like, hey, I didn't say dude, but I go, hey, they have a curing over here for um, $20. I was going to try to do the guy down to 15. I'm trying to keep getting out of frame, but he's like pushing these all these Joseph's bed. I just want to go right there. But um, the Keurig was $20. And the reason I think it was $20 is because it also had, um, what was it? It also had like a, like, like um, coffee beans and you can grind them. I can't see how I should have brought the grinder in here. But I've never, I've always wanted a Keurig. So we got the Keurig. We haven't tried it out yet. We want to try it out tomorrow morning. 
So I was on the internet yesterday and at Walmart to see what they have there in the store. They have um, a bunch of like curated things. So I saw a great value one for $14. It had 48 of the curated things in it and it had donut shop. Oh, Jeff's. 100%. This is 100% Arribica Arribi, uh, Arribi Donut Shop Grounded Coffee medium well we were just we're trying it out it should have got a little higher but there's 12 in this one so that's what it looks like and i saw the ratings on it they said it's really good honey you're pushing my camera stand hold on Stitch it right over there. there you go so i'm gonna open one up so i can actually see what they look like i can figure out how to do that oh here Okay, cool. I hope this goes in there. This is what it looks like. Now, I don't know if just different flavors or just all donut. But this is the size of it. I just hope, I think this will fit in there. I am not honestly sure. But there's not, there should be assorted flavors of donut. But yeah, but that's what it looks like. So this will work. So yeah, okay. That's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry for the talking. But I wanted to explain my story to you. So I will see you guys later. Bye. Oh, God, Jax. <laughs> Bye. Sorry about that.